This is Donish from jobskillshare.org. In this real world scenario, we are going to talk about how to install the operating system on the server if it's not working like this, where it says uh, no boot device available, press F1. So what am I talking about? What scenario? Let's say you got this server from a company, a friend, you bought it somewhere and now you got the hard drive from somewhere else, you plugged it in and because it's not configured, it's never been configured. So you see something like this or some other message that, you know, we did not find this, blah, 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 and it's not getting you. You just want to install the operating system on this server. And when you plug in your DVD, I have the DVD plugged into the server right now. It's Windows 2012 R2. If I try to install that and it goes to the installation process, it says that there's no um, a hard drive detected. There's nothing in there. So how do you fix this? Because you know there's a hard drive in there and there's only one hard drive and I know it's in there. So how do I fix this? So when you go ahead and restart the server, you need to initialize it. Basically, if you want to know more about it, you should learn about RAID system. The rating is more for the redundancy, uh, making it fast and all that kind of stuff. It's a pretty huge topic, so make sure you do that. But if, let's say, you just want to do practice on your server and you want to install the operating system on this server, once the server is started, most of the servers, when you start it, you'll see something on Dell server that says Control-R. So you see Control-R, and right now it's initializing. So now it's telling the server to look for this hard drive so we can configure it. And now it's doing that right now. So once we do this, this is where you will be able to see the hard drive. And I'm going to show you now how to do that. As you can see, when you did this, it automatically says we detected blah, 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 no configuration present. That's one message you will see. But if you already have a hard drive like this, and maybe somebody took another one out, and now your server is messed up, that's because they were using probably RAID 0 or some other RAID, and now when they took it out, server is not uh, working. And it will say another configuration right here, everything will be in the text and says missing hard drive. Now that's another scenario, but you know, just in case you, you come across that, you need to delete the configuration from this server so you can start fresh. Remember, the scenario is that you want to get everything fresh. Now, in this server, F2 operations have that setting. You probably have to find out on your server where that is. So if I go to F2 right now, you can see there's a reset config. Or if I already had configuration, there would be an option to delete the configuration. So I can just click on reset config and now it's reset and you'll see this message where there's no configuration available right now. So I'm gonna click enter on that and now this is where I was talking about where you need to do a little bit more searching because it's a big topic. RAID 0, do you want RAID 5? Um, you know, if you have a lot of hard drives right here then you would probably use some combination and then use some for swap. Like you know, you take the hardware out, plug it in and nothing will happen. And that's some advanced stuff right there. But for now, you just want to get installation going on. You want this hard Hard drive to be seen with the setup so this is where it is you will just go down and uh, click on space and now you see as soon as you hit a space it will detect the hard drive space right here this is the space of this hard drive and it's going to give you this much in this virtual hard drive and the rest is saved for recovery and stuff like that so now you can name it uh, and that's up to you and other stuff forget about that right now and just click OK and now we have initialized this as so you see this is what I was talking about if you already had configuration and something happened you'll see something like this and that's what you need to remove for it to work and when I do escape and now I'm if you find something like this you click on it and you see configuration is uh, not allowed unknown so now what, what are options you have you go to F2 reset config you can do that and let's see if it fixes it. No, it doesn't fix it. It's not fixing it. So we go to F2 and now we're going to foreign configuration right here. And we're going to say import. And you'll click yes. And it says foreign configuration import unknown. We're going to click on it again. F2. Go to configuration and make it clear. Click OK. And now there you go. So sometimes, you know, you will play around with this, see what options will fix it. As you see in this option, by clearing that, we have fixed the issue. And now I can go back uh, and do the same thing. Uh, take this and then click OK.
Well, I didn't pick the size. There you go. <laughs> okay. And now, if we click OK and we're done, and there you go, we're going to start the server and everything will be back again. So the setup will start, and then when you click on Next, Install Now, um, I'm not going to do the full installation here, but um, I'll show you the hard drive will show up now because of that configuration. If you want to see how to install 2012 or 2016 server, I'll put the description in my video. Uh, in this video, I have made another video how to do that. So in this, let's say for example, we want to install data center, we'll click next. And we want to do a fresh installation on this one hard drive. Here we will pick the agreement, click next. Second option, custom, and there you go. We have it right there. Now, I'm not going to do installation like I said, but here's a little uh, tricks and stuff. I mean, not tricks, but some scenario that you can come across. You could get another identical hard drive like this. This is a um, same, similar, same uh, size hard drive. So I already installed Windows Server on this one, which is pretty cool. You know, in, in a lab environment, you should get two, two like this. So you can either create this one, take an image, and then if something goes wrong, you can put it back on the same hard drive. Or you could be working on this one, and let's say, you know what? I, I don't want to work on this one anymore because I've done so much. I have I want to use another one for testing purposes. Or let's say this one goes bad. That's probably the best scenario. That if this hard drive go bad, go bad, then you don't have image will not help you. It's going to be another hard drive like this is going to help you. And once you have everything installed, you can just put an operating system on this one, and or you can use the same image on top of this one, and everything will come back. But if you want to do some quick stuff, you can just remove this one, plug this one in. Go back to control or configuration, remove the RAID configuration and put the new configuration. It still will work. It will have an operating system already installed on this one. I'll probably show that in a different example, but I don't want to make this video too long. See you guys in a different video. 